where do they come from? We think about this all the time, right? You know, as we work with contractors across the U.S. and Canada, we hear this story all the time, right? How did we get our start? And quite honestly, how we got our start as contractors sometimes creates some of the problems that we're dealing with today. See, what we know is that uh, out of all the contractors that we work with on a regular basis, easily 95% or more got their start that exact same way. And they got their start because they were working as an installer or a technician or a helper for somebody else. And as they were working on a job one day, probably kind of a nasty job, right? The, you know, the, the, they're, they were in the trench and, and up to their waist in mud and muck, or they're in the attic space that's only 400 degrees, and then the sweat and the spiders are going down the back, and, and they're, they're, they're cranking through. They just spent the last couple of hours getting yelled at from the customer because the house is either hot or cold, or they don't have water, or whatever the issue is. And all of a sudden, the light bulb comes on, and it's, wait a minute. I'm getting paid 10, 15, 20 bucks. Now, whatever the number is, it's irrelevant. I'm the one who's doing all the work and the boss is sitting back in his office getting rich. And I know he's getting rich because he's driving that brand new shiny red pickup truck. It's the same model I want, but I can't afford to buy it. And, and, and you know what? He just took this really cool vacation. I'd love to take that vacation. I took a vacation and I mowed my lawn, right? This isn't fair. You know what, I could go out and do this for myself and I'd be the one getting rich because you know that story, how does it go, right? Yeah, I, you know, they just sold this job for $12,000. $12, Are you kidding me? I know the time that I put into it, I got paid 250 bucks. That means that they made 11,700, whatever, whatever the number is. Right Now, you and I both know that's not the real story. But again, think about where you originally came from, right? I could go do this work for myself and I'd be the one getting rich. Right, so off we go, we're, 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 we're out there, we're gonna set up a shop and we're gonna go into business for ourselves. Now, if you think about it, what's the first decision most company owners, all company owners, quite frankly, need to make before they can even quote their very first job? When I ask that question in live sessions, I get answers like, you know, what's the name of my company? What brand am I gonna sell? You know, all those other things. The chances are those are already thought out and we got that through and, you know, I can buy equipment from anywhere. And so we have all, the most important thing you need to decide is what are you gonna charge per hour? Now the problem is most contractors starting out will set their hourly rates one of two different ways. The first one is, uh, you know, basically, you know, we're, we're basically gonna charge whatever my previous employer charged. It worked for him, it'll work for me. Now, again, my question to you is what does uh, it, 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 that really, what makes up that rate? If you don't know what makes up that rate, it doesn't really help you or determine whether it's the right price for you or not. The other way that uh, that, that contractors set their hourly rate is they're gonna pick up the phone, call everybody else in town and, and find out what they're charging. I don't wanna be the high guy, don't wanna be the low guy. Well, sometimes I do, right? But I wanna be competitive, right? And so off we go, we have an hourly rate. My question again is, what does what the guy down the street is charging have anything to do with what it costs you to run your company? The answer is nothing. And then pretty soon we, you know, but we're in business. We have this hourly rate, right? We sell the first job, second job, third job. Right? We all know enough friends and family and cousins and relatives and neighbors, we can do that. Are we making money on those jobs? It's almost irrelevant at that point, right? If you ask them if they think they're making money, they're going, yeah, I paid for the equipment, had the, the uh, made the house payment, had a little beer money left over. Life is gonna be good. Right, so off they go, and pretty soon they find out, you know, if I had a helper, I could sell twice as much. Another back, another set of arms to push the equipment around, and we could really make hay. And so we go out and hire a helper. Now, every time we open the mail, it's another, another payroll tax we didn't even know existed, but that's okay, because we're selling more. And then we find out this guy's actually pretty good. We could put him in a truck of his own. By golly, we could sell twice as much again. What's the next thing we do? We go out and buy a truck. Now, that's a loan payment I wasn't planning on, but that's okay, we're selling more. Of course, and now we need to hire two more helpers, one for him and one for me. All right, so payroll goes up a little bit more. Now it gets to the point where I can't handle the phone calls coming through on the cell phone on my hip anymore, so I'm gonna hire somebody in the office to handle the phone calls, do some paperwork, do the invoice. Oh, I guess that means I need an office. Right, and the challenge is, right, sales are growing. Sales don't equal profit. In fact, 73% of contractors that we deal with on a regular basis lost money the first time they hit a million dollars in gross revenues. A million dollars and we're losing money. 
See, the fact of the matter is, we're all turning a lot of dollars. I don't care how big or how small you are, you're moving a lot of dollars. The question is, how many of those dollars are you keeping? It's absolutely imperative that you need to find out what you have to charge per hour to cover your cost of operation and generate a reasonable profit. And then, once you know that hourly rate, charge it. You need to charge what you need to charge in order to cover your cost of operation. Otherwise, you're on a three to five year road of going out of business. Don't go there.